Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Neurosense Galaxy. In this video, I am going to be demonstrating how we can make use of several of the SQL queries or SQL programming constructs and use them from within the R program itself for performing, let us say, merging of several columns across the data sets. It's important to know and make use of SQL programming constructs in addition to knowing the native R functions, for example, the merge for merging the columns and R bind for appending the data set. If you're excited for this, please watch this video till the end and you will not be disappointed and I guarantee you it will be completely worth your while. Let's get started to actually demonstrate how do we accomplish column merge and row merge or appending the data using SQL programming from within the R programming itself. What I'm going to do for this demonstration are basically make use of two data sets. One is called country underscore sales and the other is called country underscore profit which I shall go to in a minute. Let's just look at and get familiar with this data set country underscore sales. So we have some sales numbers, I've used some random numbers and it is the sales across these regions and across these multiple countries like India, USA and UK. Similarly, I've also created another data set and called country underscore profits which is basically giving you the numbers for profits across again multiple regions in multiple countries. There is nothing so complex about the data set. It's a simple data set for demonstration. I have already stored this in a particular predefined path and the path I will just show you when I go to my R studio environment as .csv files. So let's just uh, go to the R studio environment. This is the integrated development environment that I'm going to make use of for demonstration. Realize you could also use Python or any other statistical or programming language to accomplish the task. So first thing first is to set the working directory. So where I've got the CSV files and I'm going to import uh, the data sets for sales and profit. So since it's a CSV file, I'm going to make use of a read.csv command. I've named it as a country underscore sales dot CSV. Let me just execute this. If you click on this object here, it will show we have the sales data set sitting here. Unfortunately, it has got some two columns appended with the data set, which we do not want, which we can get rid of. Realize you could at the source clean up the data and save it as a CSV file properly. I'll show you how you do it programmatically quickly. So what I'm going to do now is to use the sales object and then select this unwanted column and set it to null and and I could also select another column that we do not want and set it to null. So I could uh, select both these lines of code and run this and when you look at the sales now it is now neat and tidy with the required columns. Similarly let us import the profits data set. Let us just simply call that as profit the object holding the data set in memory. Since it's also a read CSV file I'm going to make use of the read.csv command and I named the file as country underscore profits dot csv. So if you look at this, this has imported well but it also has the issues with the two columns. Let me just quickly get rid of these two columns. Similar to how I did for our sales, we could do the same thing for this as well. So let me just uh, get the second column referenced properly and uh, let us set it to null. Let me just run these two lines of code so that it can be a little quick for uh, getting rid of those unwanted columns and it's of course in the profit data set. So we have got two data sets that's quite good now. So what we go and do next is to first merge using the function in R then go about accomplishing column merge using the SQL statement or the SQL commands. Now let us use the merge function in R to merge the two data frames column wise. So let's call the object that is storing the output as sales underscore profit just for easy interpretation of the object. So it's a simple function called merge. So which will take what? First parameter of the first is my sales object and I'm going to merge that with the profit object and I have to specify what is called the buy class which is about merging on what. So I'm going to give two columns here. One is the country C-O-U-N-T-R-Y 
and the second is the region. So let's just look at this. So if I click this, you can see the merged version of the data set column merge with a simple function called merge itself. So country region sales coming from sales and country region profits were there in profits data set. Now we have merged into sales underscore profit data frame country region sales and profits are there. So far it's pretty simple isn't it? So think about how do we do this in R using SQL function. To accomplish the column merge using SQL commands by invoking the SQL program from within the R program itself you need to make use of the relevant packages related to SQL and the database. One of the very elegant packages that R provides is called SQL DF package. You could explore other packages also. So first and foremost, if you have not installed the package, please install the package by using this command install.packages SQL DF. And subsequently to make use of the functionality implemented as part of the package, you need to run the library command. What it does? It will load the package into memory and makes available the functionality implemented in the package at runtime for you to make use of. So I'm going to use SQL DF package and there is a function as part of this package again called the SQL DF to actually go about writing the SQL command. So I'm going to make a function called to SQL DF and then within the parenthesis and within the double quotes I'm going to give my select command. What I want to do here, let me just explain as it is bit involved. So I want to select, because I'm doing a column merge, I want to select country, region and the sales from the sales data frame and take the profits column from the profit data frame and merge both data frames based on the condition. So what I've said, select sales.country and aliasing it as country, sales.region, aliasing it as region, sales.sales, aliasing it as sales, and from the profit data frame, we are going to get the profits column, aliasing it as simply profit. And we are going to get these columns from these two data frames, respectively sales and profit with a where class. This is important. Sales.country equals profit.country and sales.region is equal to profit.region. Hopefully, this should work fine and give me the output. Let us see. Yeah, good. It is working fine. So let's go ahead and see the output itself. So as you can see here, what we have done is made use of the SQL command and from within the R, we have embedded SQL program into the R construct and made use of the package called SQL DF and exactly got the column merge very similar to the merge command that we used earlier. This is how you go about looking at making use of the SQL programming with corresponding packages available in R for actually achieving the column merge. Next, what we are going to look at is going about how do we go about appending records for a data frame? Let us say I have two data frames, sales and profit. I'm going to make some modifications to each of those data sets and then see how we would append one data set to the other. Yeah. Before we actually go about looking at the code for appending the data from one data set to the other, I've made some modifications to the data set. Let me explain this quickly for better familiarity here about the data sets. I've got the data set named country underscore sales one dot CSV and this data set as countries and regions already and I've inserted a column for year and I've continued to have the sales column. So it's all about sales, some random numbers I've given for multiple years here. Let us say it is 2015, 2016, these two years for multiple regions like Northeast, Southwest, across multiple countries like India, US, UK. Similarly, I've got another data set called country underscore sales 2csv where I continue to have the country and region copied from the other data set. Here, I've changed. In the other data set, if you realize, the year was 2015 and 16. Now, I've given for a little bit of variety, years 2017 and 18 in this, and sales values have changed. Notice the columns here in the second data set and the columns here in the first data set are exactly the same. So the precondition for you to append is that the columns in the multiple data sets have to be exactly the same. So if you are quite okay with the data sets, let's go to the R code. 
what I meant by columns is the column names have to be exactly the same across multiple data sets for you to append the data sets. Okay, so now let's get started. First and foremost is we have to import the new data sets that we just discussed. So let me call the object name as sales1 for importing the first data set. It's a CSV file. So continue to use the read.csv command. I have named the file as country underscore sales one dot csv so let's just run this so if you can look at this so it has got unfortunately same problem with uh, with x and x dot one as unwanted columns so let me just quickly get rid of these two columns so let's just quickly do this so together allow me to run so that we can quickly get rid of the columns. So let's examine this. So we have the four columns intact and quite okay. So similarly, let's get the second data set out. Let me call that as sales2 and it is also it is also CSV file and I've named it as country underscore sales2.csv. Yes, let's run this and then let's examine this. It has got the same problem. So I'm going to probably copy these two lines of code and change the object name to two. I think that will be easy, isn't it? So let me just run these two together and see if we are uh, gotten rid of sales two. So we're good. So the column names for sales two and sales one are exactly the same. And the, here we have different years and different number for sales. And we have 12 records in sales one. And here we have different years and different number for sales and another 12 records for sales too. So we're going to append. So we have to append. When we append, we have to get 24 records. So first and foremost, how do you perform appending of one data frame to the other in R itself? Any thoughts? Yes, your thinking is right. We can use R bind function, which is the easiest way to do. How does this work? So let me just call this object storing the combined version of the data set as sales underscore one underscore two. And I'm going to simply call the function called rbind and then give my sales one and sales two data sets and see what happens. Shall we see? Let us just see what is have in it. So if you look at, we have 24 records. If you simply look at the dimensions of this, it clearly shows you we have 24 records and four columns. I visit 24, sales 2 has 24, sales 1 has 24. So we have appended that into what the object called sales underscore 1 underscore 2. Easy peasy, isn't it? Here is the deal. How do you do this in SQL using SQL program? Any thoughts? Don't you worry. Continue to watch this recording you will not be disappointed. I'll shortly talk about how do we go about using SQL statement for achieving the R bind equivalent of it, that is to append the records. Yeah? So how do you go about doing it in SQL now? Easy. Here we go. Let me store this in the object called sales12, the output of the SQL DF function for the appended version of the data set. So I'm going to make an explicit call to CM SQL DF function again, and I'm going to put a select statement within the double quotes. So select star from what is my first sales object, sales one. And how do I append now? You have to explicitly call out the keyword called union. That's pretty much. So union, I can say select star from what is the second object? Sales 2. Voila, it is as simple as that. So you select all the records from the sales 1 data set of the data frame. Combine that with sales 2 data set of the data frame. What results is the combined version or the appended version? So row binding equivalent. R bind equivalent in SQL. So let me just run this. Yes, we are able to run it. So let's just see. Yes, you have got the same number of uh, records intact 24 records with four columns so you can actually see here
here we go this is the output if you want to see it as a tab with this I've come to the end of this video here is my recommendation to all out there try out different data sets which are slightly complex in nature that is to say which has more number of variables and more number of records in the data set try out making use of SQL DF package get more familiarized, familiarized with the functionality of this package and see how it goes for column merging and row merging or appending the records. It's also worthwhile to try out other packages related to the SQL database. It's very, very important that you learn these skills on the SQL even from the programming environment like R for you to make use of the SQL commands to work on the database or the equivalence of it in terms of writing the SQL constructs. Realize you could also do in any other programming language also like for example in Python. Okay. Hope you found this video quite useful. Uh, let me know after practicing it how it goes in the comments. I am quite eager to know from each and every one of you if my video has made any difference to you at all and if it has helped you to understand. If there is any difficulty please reach out to me in the comments. That's the best way and I shall on a daily basis look into the comments and answer as much as I possibly can. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a like, share with your friends and network, subscribe if you have not already done so for more such videos and of course hit the bell icon for notifications whenever we release a video. This is Manjanath signing off. Happy learning, happy sleeping, happy querying. Take care. Bye-bye.